So hi guys, so we will be learning about alternating currents today. So today we will be learning the derivation of the LCR circuit that is the impedance which is represented by Z which is a combination of inductor, capacitor and a resistor respectively. So basic things what we have to know before going to derive this derivation it is X is nothing but reactance, XL is inductive reactance and XA is inductive capacitance. So these things is very much required for us to begin this particular chapter. So we can see in this phasor diagram, okay, we can see about resistor, inductor and capacitor voltages. So in resistors, the voltage and current are in phase. In the sense, this is my voltage and this is my current, both are in phase. In inductor, the voltage leads current by 90 degree and in capacitor, voltage lags current by 90 degree. So how to remember is, if you just remember, for resistor it is what voltage and current are in phase and for inductor what it is, voltage leads current by 90 degree. So if you remember this particular technique, then we need not even remember about a capacitor. So that is one thing and again I told you we will derive what the impedance. So for that I will take this triangle, OBC. I'll take triangle OBC. So the triangle OBC hypotenuse square, that is V square, is equal to what? VR square plus BC. When BC is nothing but VN minus VC. So V square is equal to VR square plus VN minus VC, the whole square. Correct? So what is my V is equal to IR? But let us don't touch any of those things. What is my VR? Again, go to this triangle, height is V. What is the I R. So I R the whole square. Correct? And what is my V L? I cannot write here I L. So instead of I L, I will put I into X L. So V L is nothing but I into X L. And V C is nothing but I into X C the whole square. This I will substitute. Next thing is what? What is my I R square? I can take I square common. Then I will get R square plus X L minus X C the whole square. Correct, and this is nothing but my V square. So I will be getting what is my V is equal to root of all of these things. So if I remove the square, I can take root of these things. So if I am taking root of this thing, what will happen? Root of I square will become I. Correct, and that I I will bring it down. So V by I is nothing but what? Root of R square plus XL minus XC the whole square. Now V by I is what? My impedance Z. V by I is my impedance set, we should not write R, this for the total voltage, V by I is nothing but impedance set. So what is my Z value? Z is equal to root of R square plus XL minus XC the whole square. And our next topic from this is, we can also learn about what? Resonance. So resonance also we can uh, learn from this particular derivation. So as you can see here XL minus XC, condition for resonance. Condition for resonance is what? XL is equal to XC. So, if XL is equal to XC, this is 0. So, my Z will be equal to what? R. It is a pure resistive circuit. So, this is my condition for resonance. Next one, small topic is the Q factor. Quality factor. So, for that, again, draw a graph. And this is my ref the maximum frequency. This is my resonant frequency. I will put I and V here. And here also I will draw two lines. This is my F2, F1, F2 or F1, whatever you want, you can write it. So, quality factor is nothing but resonant frequency by bandwidth. Which is nothing but what? FR by F1 minus F2. This is my FR, FR by F1 minus. So these are the important topics in alternating current. I hope you enjoyed it and if you like it, please do support us by subscribing to the channel and do share it with your friends. Thank you.